Hi, welcome back to Learn a Lottle. In this video, we're going to evaluate the following integral using a complex exponential. So first, I am going to note that the complex exponential e to the i 5x is equal to cos 5x plus i sine 5x. So I intentionally choose this complex exponential because my integrand contains sine 5x. So from this, I know that sine 5x is equal to the imaginary component of e to the i 5x. So my integral can be rewritten in the following way. So that's my integral is equal to e to the minus 3x times the imaginary component of e to the i 5x. And since e to the negative 3x is a real number, I can actually bring it inside that imaginary component. So e to the negative 3x times the imaginary component of e to the i 5x is the same thing as the imaginary component of e to the negative 3x times e to the i 5x. So now I have an integral of the imaginary component of e to the negative 3x, e to the i 5x. And here we can exploit another helpful property of imaginary and real components. So this function here, which extracts the imaginary component of a complex number, I know that that function is linear, so I can actually pull it out of the entire integral. So that integral there is the same thing as the imaginary component of this integral. And here, I can join together those two exponentials. So I get this e to the minus 3 plus 5i x dx. And now it's really just an exponential. So I know how to integrate exponentials. What I'm going to end up with is e to the negative 3 plus 5i x over negative 3 plus 5i. And we have a plus c here. So we have equal to the imaginary component of e to the negative 3 plus 5i x over negative 3 plus 5i and plus some constant on the outside. So this constant here could in principle be complex or real. So I'm just going to pull it out the, uh, the imaginary component of that complex constant. And we should recall that the integral we're aiming to integrate here is a completely real integral. So the answer we get at the end of the day ought to be completely real. So I have this imaginary component of e to the negative 3 plus 5i x over negative 3 plus 5i, and this constant c. And now what I'm going to do is realize that denominator. So I'm going to multiply this term I have in the imaginary component by negative 3 minus 5i, so the complex conjugate of my denominator because then I'm going to have minus 3 plus 5i times minus 3 minus 5i, which is a difference of two squares. And that way I can get rid of that imaginary component in the denominator. So here I get the imaginary component of e to the negative 3x. I'm going to expand out this bracket here now. e to the i 5x times minus 3 minus 5i, 
over minus 3 squared is 9 and minus 5 squared i squared is plus 5 squared, which is plus 25. And I have that plus c. And now here I'm going to notice that this term here and the denominator are both purely real. So I can pull them out of this imaginary component function now. So I'll do that just to simplify the expression a bit. And I get e to the negative 3x over 34 times the imaginary component of e to the i 5x times minus 3 minus 5i. Now I'm going to use that trigonometric form of the complex exponential again to rewrite that as the imaginary component of cos 5x plus i sine 5x times minus 3 minus 5i. And now at this next step, I want to extract the imaginary component of this term. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, uh, this is going to expand into a sum of four terms, but only two of them are going to be complex or are going to be purely imaginary. We're going to have this term times minus 3 and this term times minus 5i. So feel free to do the full expansion and confirm that this next line I write is indeed correct. I will have that this is equal to e to the minus 3x over 34 times minus 3 sine 5x minus 5 cos 5x. And that is my answer.